what are the events then that lead to the next part of your life uh, beyond the navigators? Beyond the navigators. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm interacting with all these guys, mm -hmm. and I guess, I mean, because you know, there was one, a few Kenyans, but Americans, mm -hmm. and so I knew that uh, yes, these are guys that I admired, mm -hmm. but uh, it wasn't me. I mean, I, I need to discover who I am, yeah, and uh, let God use me as yeah. Mike. Yeah. And uh, one of the things about the Navigator was there's a lot of mentorship, you know, people mentor, you talk about the key man, who is your man, who is your key woman, who mm. are you mentoring. Mm. Uh, but I also realized that I needed to have my own uh, understanding of the Bible mm. to be able to distill what the, what the Word of God says, All right. instead of being told by other people. Okay. So during that time, I decided to do a Master's in Theology. Aha. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. So, because we were doing many Bible studies, but the Bible studies I felt like were little holes all over the place. Mm -hmm. But I needed to have the whole picture of what the Word of God says. So, from yeah. an engineering yeah. background, yes. you decide a master's in theology. A master's in theology. Okay. Yeah, so I applied to a theological uh, Nairobi Theological School of Theology. Okay. And I, I took a three year master's of theology degree. Mm -hmm. So in that, you know, we study Greek, you mm -hmm. study Hebrew. Mm -hmm. But the thing that you do is that you also study church history, mm -hmm. you know, just from the beginning, mm -hmm. zero AD. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, the Old Testament is actually before that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm studying the whole um, council of God, as we call it. Mm -hmm. And uh, several things become clear. Right. One is that uh, I look at the way Jesus did his ministry mm -hmm. and uh, he had lots of people following him, mm. you know, the 5,000, mm. feeding the 5,000. Mm. And so I'm looking at this and trying to relate this to what I'm doing with the navigators because the navigators tended to focus on a few people. Mm -hmm. So and I asked myself, uh, what is it that wherever Jesus was, many people followed him? Mm. And so I'm hitting on blanks at that point. And then Paul Stanley, this guy who was the navigator president, invites me to the U.S. to run the club. So I spent some time here, mm -hmm. there in the U.S. Uh, in Colorado, he mentored me. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm leaving, he says, "My, you just go to the my, my, my library mm -hmm. and pick whatever books that you'd like to go back to Kenya with. Interesting. So I go there and of course, because I love leadership, I pick like about 20 books on leadership. Okay. <laughs> I come back with, 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 with those books. Mm -hmm. So many things happened. But uh, I would say some trigger things now that I look back mm -hmm. happened. Eh? Mm -hmm. One is that uh, I'm looking at the navigators and saying, wait a minute. One of the reasons why, you know, I'm not, with, I'm not seeing many people following me, the navigators, mm -hmm. it's because my ministry is probably not very relevant. Uh -huh. Yeah, there is no relevance in what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Because I'm meeting people needs. Mm -hmm then uh, people should be attracted to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So that was one sort of uh, thinking process. Mm -hmm. The second thinking process, one of the books I picked from Paul Sunny mm -hmm. was a book by Bart Nanas, mm -hmm. who had uh, interacted with many corporates in the US mm -hmm. and had been looking at uh, the reasons why they succeed. Mm -hmm. It's called Visionary Leadership. Mm -hmm. And in the book he says, if you don't have in your life, if you don't have a vision more than 30 years, mm -hmm. you are sorry a joke. Mm -hmm. You cannot expect to influence this world mm -hmm. if your vision is shorter than 30 years. Mm -hmm. And it, it leads you to, in terms of how to do a vision, audit mm -hmm. and develop a vision. Mm -hmm. And so I read that book very many times. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing all this or the, the book. Then my sister, mm -hmm. you know, I come from a family where we were nine kids. Mm -hmm. Um, then the last born, uh, uh, Angela, Alphonse, um, and uh, Kanini, mm. all of them died because of AIDS. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So now, and then I'm interacting with university students, mm. and uh, literally one out of every ten, they're talking about either there's a cousin who is HIV positive, mm. or there is um, a relative. Mm. 
So I'm trying to put all these things together mm. and I'm asking myself, mm. you know, I try to do the math mm. and in those days, you know, there were like about 12% youth that were HIV positive. Mm. And I'm trying to think, if you do the computation, it's like, it's like uh, Kenya having an aircraft, Boeing 747, mm. crashing every day. Mm. And I'm saying, one, the church is not talking about HIV infections. Mm -hmm. Second, we've got, we've got a God who loves Kenyans, mm. but then they are dying. Mm. For me, it's not making any sense. Mm. Why would a God, a good God, who created us Kenyans, who loves us, not be talking about that? Mm. And when I look at the chart, there was very little conversation going on about HIV infections and so forth. What year is this? This is about uh, 2000, mm -hmm. just before I choose like this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So all this, I'm um, working with university students, mm. doing discipleship, studying mm. the Bible, mm. and, um, and, and yet I'm struggling with mm. why are we not being relevant mm. to this society as Christians? So these are the ramblings inside Yeah. Mm. When you go to preachers, we hear talking about the Philistines and the Amalekites and mm. you know, something, okay, fine. It's okay. So your Master's in Divinity, at this time you're still continuing? Yes. So you feel it's... So you're, you're yet to graduate? Yes. Um, and that's happening on that end, but these yeah. are the realities that yes. you're seeking yeah. to wonder. Yeah. How do we address? How do we address? Mm. But then I'm also developing confidence mm. because mm. in the past I would be hearing the pastor saying in Greek it says this in Greek. So now, right. of course, I'm conversing in Greek. Yeah. Yeah. I'm conversing in Hebrew. Yeah. And I'm saying, wait yeah. a minute, what yeah. you're telling us? You it's not the you whole thing. The <laughs> the you understand those things. Yes. Yeah. So now I know. Yeah. So I'm saying, man, you can't fool me with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then. I've developed my own Christian philosophy of myself. Right. And I'm saying, well, maybe that's what the pastor said, mm. and what the other, the navigator said is that, mm. but I, I have at a point where I can question mm. and challenge and disagree, mm. which I think is what then the Bible school does. Mm. Mm. And so now I'm emerging with my own Christian philosophy, mm. my, own, you know, my own belief system, mm. that really, that I think it's more suited to me, mm. And you know, the funny thing about when you do church history, you also realize uh, the church history has there's been a lot of disagreement. Right. Yeah, then you see at Calvinism, you know, Calvin and his own, you know, and actually you begin seeing now the churches in Kenya, mm -hmm. how they are all influenced by the different uh, Christian philosophies. So like the Baptists, they are basically, their religion is very much shaped by Calvinism. What's Calvinism? Well, Calvinism, Calvinism, the basic uh, um, thing about Calvinism theology is that you don't lose your salvation. Mm -hmm. Once you come to Christ, mm -hmm. you are saved forever. Mm -hmm. Even if you kill somebody, even if you become adulterous, mm -hmm. you know, you become saved forever. Right. You are saved by grace, okay. not by works. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Arminianism, mm -hmm. in the other hand, is more the Pentecostal, and the way to see them is like the Baptist Church, mm -hmm. and you know, because you look at the Baptist Church and the, and the Pentecostal, mm -hmm. they are like your two ultimate, mm -hmm. you know, projection of those theologies. Mm -hmm. So the Baptist would be that kind of theology. Mm -hmm. uh, Pentecostals, mm -hmm. basically, you they will not say that, but you feel like they make you feel you have to work for your salvation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You mm. speak in tongues, mm. you mm. have to dress in a particular way. Mm. Mm. And so Christianity has been like a pendulum mm. and the two keep uh, swinging. Mm. Uh, if you go to some of the countries like uh, South Africa, for example, mm. um, you find that the Christians there tended not to, to integrate mm. your faith and your practice. Mm -hmm. And therefore many times then uh, you find that they don't then get involved in uh, fighting for racism mm -hmm. and things like that. Oh man, this is very intriguing and I want to yeah. want to double down on this a little yeah. Yeah. for the sake of yeah. the audience yes. uh, who who are probably asking, yeah. um, you know, who are in church yes. and as you mentioned, who yeah. are people in the Baptist, yes. people in, and yeah. in, in Pentecostal, who probably, as yeah. you say, 
yeah. have left Bapo, yes. have gone to yeah. Pentecostal, yeah. and then have come yes. back to the other, yeah. the other, the other, yeah. or have probably, yeah. don't probably even understand yeah. that, yeah. but have charged yeah. Yeah. Um, wounds yeah. because they are made yeah. to believe this on yeah. the one end, yeah. uh, maybe issues around marriage, issues yes. around divorce or, yeah. or are, are too difficult yeah. on this one yes. end, yeah. then that's probably the phase they are yes. going through. Yes. Uh, and then they go to the other side, they, yeah. they see that yeah. um, it's easier on yeah. the other side, so they yeah. hop to the other yes. bundle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it's all an issue of church history. It's yes. all an issue of just how yeah. beliefs yeah. are, are yeah. and it's just traditionally that way. Yeah. Um, what are some of the fundamental, like just two or three fundamental yeah. differences yeah. In, in some of those? And are there yeah. other, like third alternatives? <laughs> yeah, and actually when you do church history, you see that the church is not as neat. Mm -hmm. I mean, the theologies that we have are not as... You see, most of us grew up in a Baptist church. Right. So we never have to interact with the Pentecostal churches and so forth. Mm -hmm. And we see Christianity through those lenses. Mm -hmm. And so you're right, things that you're dealing with, whether it's divorce, mm -hmm. remarriage, and so we already have a very clearly, cleanly cut theology mm -hmm. that the framework that we fit into. Mm -hmm. The guys who are Pentecostal, again, they find themselves, you know, you can speak in tongues, and, yeah. you know, exactly. and, um, and, uh, and, and so forth. And you fit into that. Mm -hmm. And you don't have time to ask yourself, why do we have uh, those sort of differences? Mm. Of course, there are things like SDS, mm. um, which is a totally different uh, thing. Mm. And Catholics. And Catholics. Mm. So you get born to those. Mm. But then how it begins affecting your life is that, for example, then when, you remember when, when we were starting at Choose Life, mm -hmm. and um, guys, for example, come and tell you, you can't talk about commons. Mm -hmm. And you see now, um, in this world where all the guys that I'm mean, the young student at the University of Nairobi, <laughs> I mean, you, you do the, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know the data. They engage in success <laughs> left, left, right, right and center. Mm -hmm. And so then you're thinking, okay, fine. How, you know, there are people, if you mention, uh, in fact, one particular institution, we were going to university, we were going to partner with them, and when they realized that, they just went to website, such they saw condoms, and they said, no. We cannot partner with this organization. Mm -hmm. uh, another university, a Christian organization, which I we were doing the data, mm -hmm. and what tended to happen is that uh, the Christians, students from Christian universities, mm -hmm. tended to be more naive because if you're in university of Nairobi, obviously you're having sex, mm -hmm. and then you're protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. But now these Christian uh, universities are not protecting themselves, so they tend to have high infection rates, yeah. but more than the public university. Yeah. And I remember once in one of these universities when they found there was some write-up about condoms, mm. they gave me 24 hours to respond in writing why we were mentioning condoms in our university engagement. Yeah, and this is university. This Everyone is past 18. Yes. Yeah. So anyway. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so so your theological persuasion right. affects then the things that you do day to day basis yeah. of course your conviction and the system exactly. and, uh, and, and and i think just for i would say that uh, as christians we need to be aware of it mm -hmm. we are looking the world in our christian through certain lenses mm -hmm. and oftentimes uh are influenced by even where those missionaries came from yeah because the nairobi the baptist missionaries came from us yeah particular in fact even a particular part of the us yeah uh the pentecostals came from a different Portion. Mm. The AIC church is mostly influenced by African Indian mission. Mm. So those are influences partly by Christian religion, mm -hmm. but partly by culture of yeah. those places. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, when you look even the US politics right now, yeah. <laughs> when you think about the Republicans yeah. and the Democrats, they end up the it's same. still the same thing. Exactly. But we need to understand that so that then we can say we as Kenyans, who mm. are we? Mm. And be able to separate the the western the western culture mm. and the western uh, sort of religion but then be rooted on the word of god right yeah right right all right thank you for explaining that <laughs> uh and explaining it very well uh, yeah uh so now 
at, at what point do you graduate from yes. from um, your school of divinity and yeah. at what point does I choose life? Yeah. Start.